Hi guys, welcome to the unboxing quick review of this photo film and slide scanner. Works for positive and negative films and slides. Works also for name cards. Works really for a lot of things. It's super versatile. So I'm going to take it out of the box and show you what you get and how it works in real life. And so here we have the box with some description. Also here we can see 8 GB memory card included and even some photo editing software and some scanning OCR scanning software. And so here we get some film and slide holder and see different shape, different sizes. Then here the power supply, standard USB and USB cable, USB-A to micro USB. And here the remaining accessories, cleaning towel, 8 GB storage card. Then the software on a CD and detailed instructions, manual in English, German, French, Spanish and Italian. Very detailed. Some additional information. Looks like the model type is M129. And underneath we have the main device nicely protected. And so here we have it. You can see everything nicely built. We have the different openings. Comes also with some soft rubber feet. Has a really safe stand. Then we have the opening for the scanning. Here the control buttons. Scan button, on off button slider between photos and film and here as the card the power supply and the opening for the slides and after plugging it in we can turn it on here get different menus most important of course to add the card here no memory card detected turn it on again so let's try to capture a photo here we close it and then we have the different menu options like format, playback, different effects. We have black and white, we have the multicolor. Then we have crop option. You can see different sizes and different resolutions. 14 megapixel, 22 megapixel and different languages. And the USB that we can play back directly from here. We are in the capturing mode, we hit the enter and we see it already here nicely. We click on scan, then we choose the save and hit enter and it's saved on the SD card. So we can push in, take it out, then we add it to an SD card reader if we don't have a built-in one in the computer. And it has detected it, we click on that, so we can open the folder. We dig a little bit down and then we can see the image here. We double click and we can increase the size. Yeah, go a little bit closer here. You can see a really nice quality, actually much better than expected. Of course, we can use the software to even crop it and straighten it, improve the colors and sharpness and some other things. But I'm pretty impressed by the scanning quality. So let's try a little bit more, pushing the card in again. Then let's try to scan this film here. But as far as I can see, there's not the whole size fitting here inside. So I have to remove it from this holder. I think it's just glued. Yeah, absolutely no problem. And so we align it here. It has some pins down here. And so we close it here. I think it's properly aligned as far as I can see. It has this dedicated opening closing mechanism. There's also an arrow, so I think we have to feed it here inside. We turn it on again. We have to go on capture, enter, and we have to switch to film. And now we can see everything. That seems to be a picture. And so we go to film and select the correct format. So I would say it's a 135 negative film. Let's try with this one. Oh yeah, we definitely have an image here. So we click on scan. Again, go to save and hit enter and it should be on the card as well. And then we can go to the next image, scan it and save it. And so you can see we have a preview in the correct colors. That helps a lot to identify what we have here. And so I've transferred this storage card again to this side. 
And let's see if we have some new images. Yeah, we have them and they look actually awesome. Yeah, go a little bit closer here. You can see 30 years old images and they look like made just today or yesterday. Yeah, I'm absolutely blown away about the quality. I didn't imagine that they have been exposed to heat and humidity and whatsoever and still in good condition, especially the scan process did also a great job. And now let's try with some slides here again, the opening. So we take it like that, open it, insert the slides here inside. Yeah, they fit really nicely. So I have four of them here inside. We close it and also the arrow here so we know how to insert it turn it on again and same procedure as before picking the correct format in this case we have this 134 slide format we confirm make sure that it's on film and we slide it in and we can see what we have yeah these slides are usually positive and not negative so we can already see that here but these ones seem to be really old but i'm still scanning them and so we have them here as well and also here you can see the scanning quality is really good it's just the original slide which was not in good condition anymore so over time looks like the film has a little bit lost the colors but still definitely worse to scan them and again they are really nice i mean there is a little bit of mirroring i think here from the screen but other than that you can see how nice and even they are illuminated that's the important thing everything is nice and sharp nice and even illuminated so pretty cool to see all these old images again because i didn't have normal photos of them i just had the slides and the film and now i can recover everything watch everything i have it in digital form i can upload it to the cloud share it with family and friends it just takes a little bit of initial time to get used to that but after that you can really work in a pretty efficient way so i can highly recommend it and so if you're interested, I'll put down the link to the Amazon listing down into the description so you can check it out and order it right from there if you like it. And I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video. If you have any questions or comments, just write to the comment section below. And I'm always happy to talk about these things. And if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.